Welcome back to Azada in Libro. We're starting this video by skipping that puzzle, because that puzzle is kind of difficult. And I still need to figure out a way to switch the track before I can use the train, so I think the way to switch the track is to find the lever. And I have no idea where the lever is. But I believe I had a puzzle um, over here on the left right? I've already forgotten where the puzzle is. Here it is. It's this puzzle. So I can actually solve this puzzle. This puzzle you just want to swap pieces in order to make matches. Oh, that's nice. That was a double match somehow. There we go, and that was also double match. Okay, so that puzzle was a lot easier than the previous one. And this gives me a barrel of honey. Why do I have a barrel of honey? I do not know. Anyway, I'm gonna rely on the hint button to tell me what it is I'm doing next. Unless I'm using the barrel of honey in order to lure that rodent of unusual size. It actually seems like a good idea. So let's, let, let's do it. Whoa! Is the rodent an unusual size, or is that honey jar an unusual size? Cause that's that's a lot. I could use this coal. I have a bucket. Now I have a bucket of coal. Beautiful. All right. So that lever I needed was here. Yes. Let's file it off. Works for me. Now I'm going to, um, where's the train? Where'd that train go? Switch the tracks. Throw in the coal. And go! Good thing I wasn't on the train when I started the train. Oh, I was on the train. Okay, whatever. Now we're here! In the creepy area where the evil, evil uncle lives. And we can defeat that evil uncle and bring an end to this game. Except for the bonus chapter. There is always a bonus chapter, isn't there? Um, scissors? Yes! Use the scissors to find a lockpick. Signs on the mirror. I need to clean this mirror. Hint is always good at helping me figure out, um, what I missed. Let me go downstairs first. Downstairs first. Oh no, it's the robot. The pirate robot. Uh, the sailor robot, which we saw at the very beginning of the game. Well, it's hard as stone. Okay, well, we're gonna have to get it a new heart. I have a sponge. I have a pile of random garbage. The flower is too heavy. I need to support this. Support that. Okay. Jar of lightning. What the? That is a sad, sad unicorn. And apparently I need to brush the unicorn's mane. Alright. This is a one-eyed creature. Okay. Ooh. I've been carrying these random things around forever. Oh, I still need something here, though. Okay. Well, if I had my hint meter working, I would use it, but I don't. So, we finished exploring downstairs. Let's explore upstairs. Evil demon creature. Okay, what do I have here? Books. I have a brush. Great, I can go painting. Finally, I have everything I need. Everything is in so tiny, tiny print that you can't even see it. What was that, a note for ants or something? It's his diary. He's collecting... Okay, well, apparently he was sapping the strength of all sorts of exotic creatures because he's a nasty person. Part of the tomb is missing. I can go forward once more. Is this our villain? Finally, you've come to meet your end. 
What took you so long? You put so many barriers in my way, dude. It took a while to get through them all. You almost missed the show. Your world will melt, burn out, and die under tons of water and sand. On second thought, why grant you the privilege? I'd rather punish you instead. Punish me for what? Being a good guy? Okay, so, he didn't want to kill me. I need something to defeat the Dark Magician's power. And is there anything else here I need to look at? Hint says, no. I hear the mirror pieces. Okay, I've been collecting mirror pieces. Is it for this puzzle? Do I have any more mirror pieces? I need glue. Looks like I need glue. Okay. Hint says... Hint says part of the tomb is missing. Oh, I do have a heart. Okay. Thank you, Hint. Okay, puzzle part. No idea what that puzzle's for. So, thank you, Hint. So, I need to find glue. And there's no way I'm going forward to fight this guy until I get a fancy item. Okay. It's a puzzle part. I have a brush, a lightning sponge, lockpick. Let's go back. Anything else here I need? Let's see. I need to clean off this mirror. Sponge, perhaps. That gives me a spell. Is that what I need to defeat the evil, evil, evil uncle? Nope. Spells don't work that way. You don't just throw them out and, and, and hope they work. Alright, unicorn here. This is guarded by magic. I have a spell. Now for a conventional approach to unlocking. Gives me a spoon. Something else here, though. I still need a... Something there. You need to find a clockwork heart for this guy. Flower head needs support. A spoon? I should tie the flower to the spoon with the yarn. I can't get my hands all sticky. <laughs> what? Okay, so that, that gives us the glue we needed here. Okay. Can I rotate these pieces? Doesn't look like you can. Wow, why can't I move this one? There we go. Okay, and because we've got an outline, this kind of makes it easier. The kind of outline kind of makes it easier to kind of solve this puzzle. There we go. And when you get a piece in place, it snaps into place, it looks like. So that makes it easy. Looks like doing the outside pieces works, especially because these outside pieces on the left are brighter. So these dark pieces must be the outline on the right. Yes. Yes. Done. That gives me a mirror. Sure, a mirror. Am I supposed to use the mirror on this guy? Haha! -ha! You'll pay for this. I'm better at tennis than you are. Ha 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 ha. 
I'm so much better at tennis than that guy is. It's, it's not even funny. That guy is so bad at tennis. Okay, so I need another puzzle part here in order to solve the puzzle. Um, is there any other item I can pick up? Because clearly I've missed an item somewhere. All I have is lightning and unicorn here. Is there something dying that I need to bring back to life? Because that's what it said unicorn here was good for. Yeah, not sure. Okay, I'm gonna have to check check my walkthrough here, I guess, a little bit. Do, 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 do. I should have the the clockwork guy. Ah, here we go. Okay. So this apparently needs unicorn hair. How are you supposed to figure that out? I don't know. Anyway, it's a clockwork heart now. Thank you, stranger. You're welcome. Give me something. Okay, so he gives me he gives me that. Great, great, great. So that's the puzzle part. We must be nearing the end of the game, right? If we're running out of items in our inventory. That's how this game works. Okay, so with this puzzle, um, you know, these end pieces, these end outside pieces, are all end outside pieces, if that makes sense. So let me put all those pieces into place. Great, so yeah, those four corner pieces are in fact four corner pieces. Now everything else is going to be kind of tough. Okay. These two pieces are the only um, left-right pieces. Every other piece is up-down. So let me get those two pieces. And like I said, every other piece here is just up and down, up and down. So if you know that, it's really simple. Another puzzle. This puzzle is Sudoku. It's Sudoku, isn't it? It is. Okay. Hmm. All right. So I've got blue. Okay. So let's figure out where yellow go or or this orange piece goes. Okay. So it's not going in this column or that column. It must be that column. So it's either here or here. Oh, how do you do it? Do you drag a piece into place? That's how you do it? Okay. So I'm not good at Sudoku when it's like this. That is, when it's colors instead of, instead of numbers. I don't know why that is the case, but I have the solution written down here, so... fill out some of the solution and then I'll try to get to work actually solving the puzzle for real. I do like the classic Azada music. Um, that's the music playing here. That's that's nice. Nice throwback, I guess, to the original game, you would say. Man, so this is one of those puzzles where it's practically... 
the time it takes you to solve the puzzle, uh, uh, you know, even if you did it like top speed, it practically takes up all the time you need to fill up that skip button. Okay, hold on a second. I'm trying to grab this piece here. Why is my computer being slow? Come on, computer. This is not something that is taking up all that much memory. <laughs> I'm on a, I'm on a pretty static screen here. This red piece is going to have to be here or there. Let's get all these red pieces into place then. Which means the final red piece is going to have to be, let's see... Nope! Impossible to figure out where all the red pieces go, just based on that information. Okay. Yay! Figured out where that one goes. Okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, like, I, I'm, I've been filling out this board pretty quickly, right? And... skip button fills. So that's your solution. This gives me the final key that gives me the Azada key what oh and now it's Titus disguised as the solicitor successfully beaten the game, now we can access all the bonus content. That wasn't much of a very... I mean, that ending wasn't very fantastic, so maybe, maybe the ending with the bonus content will be extra fantastic. So, extra stuff, we get con uh, concept art. Oh, really? I can't get it all. Okay, fine, I'll play the extra game. And I don't think there's a walkthrough for this on the internet, meaning I have to solve it 100% on my own. Thank you so much for your help. Your name will be remembered in Azada forever. Argolfumpf. We return to Prague. I must seal Azada and lock it with the key. But first, we must restore Azada to the way it was before evil intruded. I'll stay here to guard the entrance. The artifact is in Prague, in a hidden location. It's a magical scale that balances the past and the present. You'll find it in storage within the grounds of a secret park. I want to help you. My captain's life depends on you. I won't be able to open that without help. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, basically the bonus game, instead of taking place in Azada, it takes place in the real world of Prague. And I've got so many questions for you, Titus. Like, why me? Why was I brought here to save Azada? And this doesn't look like Prague. This, this is a different Prague. Jump the lily pads. Oh, I see how this works. This is impossible. Okay. I need to reset. Okay, so I think what you have to do is start with the blue. 
yeah, I'll start with blue. And this looks like it'd be a dangerous time to shoot for blue because green might get there. So I'm just gonna have to wait another full rotation. But there's a nice green. Ah! No! No! We can try this again if we want, but I don't think it'll work. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you have to you have to never make any mistakes on that ever. Talk about impossible. So perhaps one technique is, uh, you know, I tried the technique of doing the inner circle. Perhaps the correct technique is to get the outer circle first, get the green circle in place, then get the orange, you know, the, the yellowish circle, yellow slash orange circle, then the blue circle. Perhaps that's the safest way to solve this puzzle. Go. Oh, please tell me these two are not going to line up at the same time. That would be a pain. Yep, that's a pain. Gonna have to miss this rotation unless... Now. Okay. Beautiful. And that gives me the dark key. Okay, so this box is too far away and the river is too deep. We're going to have to figure out a way to get that. I need to figure out to get rid of those bees. How to get rid of those bees. This is more like the prog I know, right? I might get charged with breaking and entering, but I need to jimmy this door. Hint says I can't really do it. So, train station. I remember this from the opening cutscene. That garbage is burning. Hint says, I have a chip here. Great, I do have a chip there. Probably should have used my hint here, because I think there's something, something behind this menu. I need to find a rag. Why? Okay. Let's back away. Let's go forward here. Creepy statues. Very creepy statues. In order to move forward, you need to cover Sphinx's eyes. I can help you. I have an idea. If you fix and put in place my turban, I will be able to jump in the gap and cover their eyes. So we need to fix your turban? I don't have anything to help repair you, but that will definitely... I need a magnet. Okay, so I need to fix that guy's turbine in order to do anything. This is tangled in branches. Probably gonna use this here. Honey, that should distract those bees. No, not, not, okay. I have a rag, and I wanted the rag to clean off the, this, for some reason. How's a rag gonna work? What? What? That's a strange drawing indeed. I'll use a chair leg like, to prop this up, and that gives me a saw. Can I use a hint yet? No, looks like I'm finished with this section of prog. Looks like, ooh, looks like there's something I can look at here. If I have a key, which I do. Looks like I need a light key though. Nothing to do here. Something here, I see. Missing wires. Oh, clicked in the wrong area. Okay, well that's good, once I get 
uh, missing wires. The box is too far away to reach. Oh, here we go. There's that pig. Here, have a bun, pig. Calm yourself. Garden shears. Is there something that needed trimming? Yes, these things did. That gives me a net. I'll use that to get this far off thing. Amazing how the end of game, uh, you know, this bonus game challenge seems to be a bit easier to figure out than the main game. Oh, and a light key. And wait a minute, I just realized this game comes with a strategy guide. It should actually help me in case I get stuck. So the light key's over there. Great, great, great. So in case I get stuck, I'll, I'll use this uh, bonus guide. Okay. So I take the light key to its place. Okay, the, the light key and the dark key were sort of opposites. Um, that did not... That, was, that wasn't that was 100% obvious how it worked, but they were opposite. So I'm on page 40... 40 what of 40? Wow, I'm on page 45 of 47? I'm pretty close to finishing the game, apparently. Right, let's do this. Um, friend is still missing some parts, though. Ooh, maybe not as close to finishing the game as I thought. Don't you hate it when you do something in not the same order as the uh, as the strategy guide? Okay, so I open that. Ah, ah, back back to that Zada screen. Huh? Where'd Titus go? Just ran off. Spark plugs are missing. Uh, uh, okay, okay. And I was missing something here. Found the spark plug. It looks like we're getting really close here. As usual, I know I'm getting close when I don't have much in my inventory anymore. So I want 45. Choose a pathway. Okay, so the pathway... Pathway, you want all the numbers to equal 45. That was this puzzle, so it looks like that, apparently. Okay, so... I would have solved that on my own, but I don't really have enough time because I want to finish the game in this video. Wow. Thank goodness I've got a sidekick. A sidekick who's willing to risk his life for my safety. I bet this melts. I bet it does too. I saw a picture of this earlier, didn't I? Okay, killer whale, polar bear, and something else. There we go! Gives me access to this area, the final, final part of Prague, it looks like. I found the scales, all I need- what scales? I don't have any items here! What do I do? Okay, okay. Strategy guide maybe will let me know what it is I have to do. Solve that puzzle. I need to look there. For a torch. 
gives me the torch, and I'll be using it over here for honey? I didn't even notice this. So that gives me resin, and now now if I need to, to, to light the torch, it will be really, really easy to do so. Now I need to return to the train station using the burning fuel. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I'm glad I have a lit torch. My question, what am I using the torch on? Perhaps that thing that said, hey, it, I bet this smells. That gives me a handle. A handle for this, perhaps? There aren't that many puzzles left. Okay, this gives me a feather. Perhaps I put a feather on the scales? No, I needed a token to put on the scales. Okay. Okay. So... Final page of the game. Feather over... Oh! There was something I missed over here. I had no idea. Okay, that gives me a token. Token here, perhaps. And why do I need scales? Move the lines on the right so they are a mirror image of the lines on the left. Looks... Looks good to me. I mean, they look like a, a mirror image already. Where is the mistake? Those two look identical. Oh, mirror image! Okay. Oh. So it's not that they're identical, they need to be reflected. Okay. So it should be pretty easy. I've got all these outside rolls, little things. Okay, so red goes up a line at the top. Purple needs to line on the top as well. This is rough. Oh man. No, because it's a mirror image, so this is gonna be the other side. No. So blue's gonna look more like Yeah, okay. This is also kind of tough because it's hard to click on a particular piece. Like, I don't want, I don't want purple there. Purple's good. How do I move yellow? There we go. Yellow goes that in relation to the others. And red is going to be like this in relation to the others. There we go. Perfect, except I must have made a mistake somewhere because the game is not accepting that as a solution. Perhaps the outside purple. There. Now we go back in time to before Azada being taken over? Yay! We saved the dead guy! Dead guy still can't get up. Kind of lazy fellow. Centaurs! Back to normal! Tree 
lady. No longer trapped as part of a tree. Okay, so this is a much happier end. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. And Unicorn, no longer sad and crying. Unicorn is back to being magical and happy. No idea what that creature was, but now it's happy too. It, it's got flowers growing out of its back. Now we get to see the ending credits. Okay, well, I'll stick around for the ending credits, I suppose. This is Azada in Libro. As I said at the very start of this video walkthrough, rather different from, from the previous two games. I wonder what the third game of the series was originally going to be like, because if you watch my walkthrough for the third game, it ends... I mean, if you watch my walkthrough for the second game, it says, okay, Look out for the third game coming at you soon! And they had a title for the game, and I think a screen of it. And this game just completely throws that away, doesn't bother trying to finish up. It's, it's got a lot of the same elements as the first two games, in that there's this book called Azada, and this guy named Titus, who lives in the book, and wants you to come inside the book and solve puzzles and stuff. That's basically where the similarities end. There is one more game in the series. It's Azada Ancient... No, it's Zada in Elementa, I believe, and then no other games beyond that. I didn't play the original Azada game because it was kind of overly difficult. It's basically just a collection of mini-games um, thrown together in a difficult fashion. Not as much story and funness. Not as much story and fun as this game. So now we have some extra bonus content. We get to play the music if you are so if you're so inclined you can play the music yourself on the piano. These are wallpapers. That is a nice wallpaper. I like that. That that is fancy. And let's see the concept art. Yeah, pictures of the various characters and rooms and everything. Interesting. Yep. Ooh, and the music plays. A screensaver, if you want a screensaver. Huh. Cool. So. That is the end of uh, my video walkthrough for Zada and Libro. I hope you enjoyed watching it, everybody. If it's popular, I'll try out the fourth game, Zada in Elementa.